So, I will take an example of a uh, in a different domain, this is a continuous time delta sigma converter, but uh, if you do not uh, have not seen this before, do not worry about it, just think of this as a linear time in uh, time varying system whose output is uh, is sample. So, minus k. So, I am going to assume that the uh, the sampling rate is 1 hertz. So, I multiply the output of the integrator with a periodic impulse strain and uh, the so therefore, this will be an impulse strain and uh, let us say I feed this back like this. Okay. This is my LPTV system, it is clearly LPTV because uh, I am multiplying the uh, I mean there is basically some time varying gain somewhere uh, and uh, so and my output is uh, my desired output is simply the, the samples of let me call this y of t, uh, my desired output is basically y of n t s. Right. So, I am interested in only the samples of y of t at uh, the instant uh, at instants of uh, 0, 1, 2 uh, and so on. Right. So, what should I do? Uh, uh, you know we know that equivalently therefore, we have u of t I mean let me call this x of t. Right, and uh, we know that there is some h equivalent of t which when sampled will will leave will give you y of n t s. All right, but uh, and we are trying to find what is what this is. Correct, and uh, so what do we do? We have to first make the adjoint network. So uh, how do you do that joint? Well, this is a signal flow graph. So this is a time invariant gain. So it just remains like that. All the directions of the arrows are removed. Uh, this is. Uh, a summing node, so that becomes a pick, pick off point with uh, signs. Uh, this becomes x hat of t. This becomes minus one, right? Then what do you do? Well, uh, this this is a pick off point. So, we need to f this becomes a summing node right and uh, this is a multiplier we have to time reverse it, but the impulses are coming at 0, 1, 2 and so on. So, time reversing makes no makes no difference. Zero, one, two, three, and so on. This is sigma over k of delta of t minus k. Correct. So if you make t equal to minus t, what will happen? Right. So the, therefore, there is uh, you know uh, reversal of time has no effect. And this becomes this. Okay, so this is that joint. Hmm? So what? So what should we do now? As you said, I formed that joint network. We have to apply the. Which is the output port here? Output port is 
Yeah, so where should I put the, uh, what input should I put and where should I put it? We have to add, uh, what should we, what should, we have to put Dirac impulse delta of t. Hmm? All right. So, what do we expect to see at x, equal, x hat of t? No, we will we'll do the, we will solve it and get some waveform there, but what does that waveform indicate? Yeah, so what we get here is nothing but h equivalent of t, all right. So, you uh, inject uh, an impulse here. So, what happens in the, as soon as you take an integrator and in, uh, inject an impulse, uh, what happens? You will get a step here, correct. And uh, so, what happens to the uh, step? Uh, what happens if you take this step and uh, if it goes in, uh, uh, gets inverted? This becomes an inverted step, correct? So this becomes minus one, right? And uh, so this will keep going. Uh, so what will happen to? Uh, so this is a negative step is coming here, and when does this sample again? Next, next At what time? time 1. So, once this samples at time 1, what will be the uh, the input, uh, what will be given, uh, what will be the output of the multiply when you sample? Delta of t minus 1. Uh, look at the sign properly. Minus delta of t. Minus delta of t minus 1, right. So, if minus delta of t minus 1 goes into an integrator, what will happen to the output of the integrator? It will, yeah, very good. It goes to at t equal to 1, therefore, the output will go to, sorry, at t equal to 1, the output will go to 0. And uh, so, uh, this minus, so then what happens, uh, what is fed back, therefore, what comment can you make about the feedback waveform? You get 0 there, right. So, the next time the uh, sampler samples, it will be sampling. 0, correct? And uh, so, what is fed back? 0, zero and uh, everything is dead, right? So, what is h equivalent of t therefore? Yeah, it is h equivalent of t is basically o. Right, this is h equivalent of t. Right, uh, what comment can you make? A sanity check can be run. Any sanity check? Uh, what is the uh, frequency response corresponding to this? A rectangular pulse. What is h equivalent of f? Yeah, basically, it is uh, sinc f e to the minus j 2 pi f t is half. So, basically, j, j pi all right, ok. So, uh, what is the uh, h equivalent of 0? That is the DC gain. Uh, what is it? Sync 0 is 1. Let us see if that makes intuitive sense. So, if you put in 1 volt DC here, correct? What comment can you make about uh, 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 that voltage? You should have 1 volt there because otherwise uh, the integrator will saturate, right? If you assume that the circuit is working, then uh, what must be fed back must be also be 1 volt. That way, the DC going into the integrator will be 0, right. Uh, so, if this is 1 volt, what comment can you make uh, uh, about uh, uh, this? That has to be like in At the sampling instant, it has to be 
1. Correct? So, if this is 1, then what comment can you make about the sampled output is also going to be 1. So, the DC gain therefore is 1. Makes sense from the uh, uh, intuitively. Right? What comment can you make about uh, H equivalent of J 2 pi F s? Well, I mean you can uh, F s which is 1. So, H equivalent of uh, 1 is basically sink 1 which is 0. Correct? So, uh, what comment can we make if you put in say, uh, if you put in cos 2 pi t, what comment can you make in uh, make uh, about the average value of uh, the signal here? Average of 0. 0, correct. So, the again this is an integrator. Uh, if we have an integrator inside a, a circuit and it is the circuit is working properly, the average value of the quantity going into the integrator must be 0. So, this must be 0 on average, right. If this is 0, then what is sampled here must be at the sampling instance this must be 0. So, y of n t s must be equal to 0. That makes sense, right. So, because if you put in uh, cos 2 pi t here, H equivalent of uh, j 2 pi 1 is 0. So, what you get here is 0. So, if you sample 0, you get 0. You understand, right. So, uh, so as you can see, you can, I mean, uh, uh, you know, that joint makes uh, finding uh, these H equivalents of t uh, uh, 